go to the beach when I was younger and being in the water. Senior year of high school, uh, before graduation but after classes were done, uh, just being with some friends in Assateague Island in Virginia uh, at night, watching, looking at the stars, looking at the moon on the water, just standing with my friends, not really saying anything and uh, being in their presence. I climbed this very difficult mountain to climb, very steep, a lot of chains, very worn down. But then you get to the top and it's just this cliff face from one side and my feet were dangling down and you can see just like, it's straight down and you can see all these uh, lakes and things and it's so beautiful and I'm just kind of alone up there and the wind's blowing and I have this box of chocolates um, and I'm just eating it and I'm just like admiring the sight, talking to no one. It's kind of understanding, you know, just like how small I am. My last track race that I ran in high school, uh, I had overcome an injury, and so to be able to run in it was a really great experience for me. Two summers ago, I was in Slovakia, um, just with friends. And I was just, we were just like, we had gone swimming, and afterwards we were just like lying on the grass, and I felt completely like free, like I had no responsibilities at that moment. My favorite uh, Mexican restaurant, Nifas. Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. In the middle of the field, and like, essentially the backyard. It, I mean, it's not really a backyard, it's a 20 acre field. But in the middle of there, I just remember like, the sun is setting, it's completely flat, and you just see wheat and corn and all these crops all around. And it's just very calming, and I, I really enjoy that place. I have to say there's no place like home. I really like my home in Maryland. Um, I feel like I love my community a lot. I have some great friends there. Um, so I would say in the world, of all the places I've been, uh, I love my home. There's a town there where I go every summer and I have really, really close family friends there. I love that place. Fly quickly, so I have to like go to the I can go to places quicker, you know, experience the world. I'd like to shape shift, you know, like shape shift into animals, trees, whatever, um, just to kind of get a perspective on what other beings in the universe kind of go through. I think I'd like the ability to fly. It's kind of dope because, like, I don't know, you can fly and get places quicker. <laughs> fly. I would like to fly. I think it would be very efficient and save a lot of time in my life. To read people's thoughts because I'm very nosy. Don't worry as much. Don't try to take other people's advice. Just figure it out for yourself. That's the best way to do it. I'd say keep your head up. I mean, there's definitely been some rough patches in my life, but uh, what, what, what made me get through them was just like thinking about how awesome it is just to be like alive and how awesome it is to have the ability to just like have memories and have connections with people. And it, if you just really look at the bigger picture, as in my opinion, it's like it's so easy to get bogged down in the details and the terrible things that are happening at some very specific moment. But you look at the greater scheme of things and you look at what's going on. I think you can find beauty in that. And it's just like very, it, and you won't get bothered by the small things. And I think that's something I wish I did earlier in my, my life. Just relax. I was very, I'm, I've always been very stressed out. I've always kind of been uh, very tense. I think in high school it would have done me a little bit of good to just kind of relax every now and then and, and not take things so seriously all the time. Other people's opinions aren't as important as you think they are. Being in the car when there was like a hurricane or something and then pick up my dad from the airport. Playing like house with, I think, a, I think it was like three other girls. Uh, just playing house and they were telling me like what my role was gonna be. Uh, so in this dream, my grandfather is in the back seat, which is why I know it's a dream because he's never been to the United States. He's passed away now. But I remember looking through my toy binoculars and uh, and seeing a fire. And I don't exactly remember what was up. I was about three and a half years old, maybe four years old at the time. Uh, I remember freaking out about the fire, but my grandfather calming me down. My earliest memory uh, is my sister vomiting on a plane to California in 2003, so I was three. Um, I remember 
it was it was embarrassing. I remember being embarrassed that my sister was vomiting on a flight. I, that was the, that's really the first thing I recall. We had a pool put in our backyard. I was probably like four, three or four, and I remember walking in it before there was water in it. Dying. Having a, a life or a career that doesn't that I'm not proud of, and that every day I'm just like not happy about and don't enjoy. I just like look at what could have been, you know, the whole time. Well, I have a little bit of a phobia against bugs. Like not knowing exactly how my life is going to go in the future. Um, well, I'm terrified of bugs. Uh, more broadly, I'm terrified of dying alone. So those are probably the two things that I find most frightening.